Megan and Neil, and this time we're off to Peru to hike the Inca Trail to Machu Picchu. Come with us as we spend three weeks exploring the dramatic Andes in the west to the Nazca Desert in the south and the lush Amazon rainforest. On our way back out of the Colca Canyon, travelling to Lake Titicaca, we stop along the way to admire some of the pre-Incan farming terraces. These terraces grow potatoes, mazes and other crops and are irrigated by ancient, ingenious systems of channels which direct water to each crop. Our guides point out the Tumbas de Chocuatico, graves which were hewn into the cliffs high above us. They predate the arrival of the Incas in the Colca Canyon around 1320. We visit the town of Maca where we meet some of the locals and admire the Church of St Anna which was almost destroyed in an earthquake in 1991. We keep winding our way through the narrow roads which zigzag the Andes, the terrain becoming more rocky and alien-like. Our destination is the town of Puno. We're both starting to notice the effects of being at high altitude, coupled with a dodgy stomach bug for good measure. It's uh, the eve of your 30th birthday. Yeah. How do you feel? Uh, about being 30, um, good. No, we're in Puno here, 3,800 metres, so we're still quite high. The whole minibus driver that we had was slightly mad. I think he might have been in a hurry to get home. And, um, but yeah, other than that, it was good. Puno actually, on, more or less on the side of a hill, and that's it could be a bit like Wellington, very steep, narrow streets. The following day is Neil's birthday, and thankfully we are feeling a little better as our ride to the harbour is a quick dash through the streets on pedal powered tuk tuk. Our first stop is the floating reed Euros Islands, where we visit the locals and learn about their unique way of life. The island is spongy as we set foot upon it, composed of three metres thickness of reeds, which is anchored in place to the bottom of the lake. Everything on the islands is made from totara reeds, including the huts and some pretty impressive boats with animal shaped heads. We're shown into some of the dwellings and have a ride on a canoe. We visit another of the islands and get a chance to buy some handmade crafts. The Euros are the indigenous people of Peru and Bolivia. They were driven off the land and onto the lake by the Incas hundreds of years ago. <laughs> Our 
Our next stop is Amantani Island, where we will be staying the night with a local family. Happy birthday, Neely. How has your day been so far? Thank you. It's been um, good, actually. We travelled three hours out here to Amantani Island, which is um, in the, the open water part of Lake Tidikaka. Lake Tidikaka is 60 odd kilometres wide and 160 something kilometres long, so it's um, quite big. What you can see in the distance is probably Bolivia and Peru that way. So we've um, just had a, had a late lunch, and that's the house we're staying just over there. And uh, <laughs> have the sound effects provided by the donkey there. Um, yeah, we had a very nice lunch. Actually, it's with, um, vegetable soup. That was followed by a main course of um, um, cooked potato and um, and fried cheese, which is very nice, and a very nice sort of a spearmint tea. And it was just a shame that we were so still feeling a little bit ill from from yesterday, from from having this travel bug that we couldn't um, fit it all in. As the sun starts to set, we head up to one of the highest points of the island, the Pachamama Temple. So here we are on the top of the mountain. It's Oma I'm, I'm Tani Lake. Um, and the sun sets over that way, somewhere towards Puno. Um, and it's about 4,100 or 4,200 metres above the sea level. Uh, so we walked very slowly uh, on the way up. It's very easy. The sun's going to go down soon, but uh, luckily we have our, our guide here, uh, Isaac. He's going to show us the, going to show us the way home. After a donut. After a donut and a chocolate caliente. The next day we leave our host family and travel by boat to another of the islands in Lake Titicaca. Our visit to Tequili Island is enjoyed by a walk along a paved path which offers beautiful views over the lake framed by some old capstone archways. The climb to the top of the island via 500 steps is surprisingly difficult due to the altitude which makes us feel really unfit and just a little concerned about our trek on the Inca Trail to Machu Picchu in a couple of days time. Join us next time as we arrive in Cusco, the sacred city of the Incas and gateway to the Inca Trail.